never guess what happened. I'm broken down <laughs> on a highway to Phoenix. Uh, so I got a flat tire, pulled over, and I thought it's just a flat tire, but there's nothing wrong with the tire. I have a problem with my rim again. So look what happened. I have a hole in my rim. So this is the scenario. This is my valve, and here we have a hole. I guess a hole for another valve. I'm not sure. Well, this wheel was sealed in South Africa, so it's tubeless, but I guess they sealed that hole, and now this hole is not sealed, so yeah. So five minutes later, Urbi has stopped. As, as it happens, Urbi's got a trailer. He's gonna try to pick Chile in, and Urbi's gonna give me a lift to Phoenix. happened to me so as I was recording my um, shot with a trailer the camera went bang and then the lens is broken it doesn't close anymore <laughs> it's a bad day today oh my god my hair okay it's fixed so now we're traveling together to Phoenix and as it happens Airbnb uh, is going as well to the bike shop and we're just gonna go there together hopefully they're gonna be able to fix my 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 rim <laughs> and we're nearly here whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's not lose the bikes at the end <laughs> okay it's on the left here should be somewhere i think we're going to engage plan plan b <laughs> so now i'm going to find some friends to our place. I don't know, we're gonna still do it a little bit further. But look at the hood! La la la! Very nice! Alright, we're nearly there. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Where are we back up to? Back up to the garage? Yeah, you gotta, oh, you gotta rail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just back it up to the dirt. Okay. Thank you. Here we go, Chile! <laughs> Oh, sorry, you're having trouble. Uh, it's okay. I'm healthy, and that's his business. Over. Also. Yeah. We made it. We made it. She's we didn't now. die. Yeah. Safe for now. <laughs> Thank you so much. No Thank you so yeah, much. Oh my God, life savior, really, <laughs> life savior. Okay, we officially on. Al, are you ready? Yeah, let's tear it apart. Right. Al is the man. He's so familiar with 800 GS because he's got his own 800 GS. And we're not only going to fix um, my wheel, we're going to put tube in and we're going to try to plug this, the, the hole and all of that, but we're going to also do a little service on Chile. She needs to have oil change, she needs to have steering bearing uh, replaced. And there is one more thing that I had no idea about. And uh, this is very interesting. So anyone who's got 800 needs to watch this video because we're going to tell you what's going on. The issue with these 800s and, and a lot of the BMWs um, is the cam chain tensioner. The tensioner is filled with oil and then that takes up the space and basically tightens uh, the uh, chain and gets rid of your chain noise. Right, so we're Plus, talking yeah. about this bolt that sits here, right, yep. right, like there. This like there, yeah. right? Yep. And now we got, you're going to show me a little model <laughs> so we can yeah. all learn how it works. So, so this is how it looks like inside. Right. So what happens and what is happening is the cam, the cam chain tensioner is out like this. Uh -huh. So now you have... Loose chain. Very loose chain, okay? Because <laughs> he goes here. That's right. And he's not long enough. A little pump right here should stay nice and hard. Right. It doesn't. When it sits overnight, then all the oil goes away. 
Right. So only until the, all the oil pressure is up, uh -huh. then then it's tight. Right. And the problem, because that's originally being dubby, so when it was sitting here, it was just not long enough to, to put the tension on the chain, right? That's right. This is what I created, but uh, just for, for testing. Right. So see the difference difference in length. Sure. I added 180 thousandths to. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but the problem is we need we need to put a, a manual one in there. Sure. And when we put it in, we'll show you how how it how it works. And we're just gonna grab that one from your bike, and I'm yeah. gonna replace it for you later. Yes. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. It is an awkward position, isn't it? Yeah. Having to go in between is, the frame. We'll get there. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna. That's it. It's out. Yep. I want to compare. Okay. Yeah. See, this is the original 09. Yeah. Bad. Bad. My been updated bad. six, seven, eight times. That bad. Okay, that's been upgraded and still bad. Bad. So now what we're doing is eliminating this this movement uh -huh. and you make it uh, bolt, bolted in. Uh -huh. Price, that's not a big job to do as long as you know what you're doing and you know what the problem is. When you can listen to your engine and you know it's not good. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. I started chilling and I went like, oh my God, this is bad. <laughs> okay. I've got a very responsible job to do now. We're gonna put chili, we're gonna fill it chili up with oil. Chili, fresh new oil, yummy. All right, let's test it. Wow, what a big difference. Oh, we can do better. Better than this? Yep. Do not push it in too far. Uh -huh. In fact, I'm actually backing it off right now. Okay. Uh, do not go in too far, because then what you're doing with that is <clears throat> this goes in here and deforms deforms this mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. and that's when this can this can crack i see it's a shame that i didn't record how chili how bad she was before she started but now uh -huh. honestly it's like it's like she's brand new it's just that before you just like was that clicking noise when you were starting and now it's just like nothing so good job number two replacing steering bearing and that's a big job I think it is. <laughs> Lucky Al knows what he's doing. Yep, so much work just to replace steering bearing, hey? Like half of the bike needs to be uh, just... undressed. Yeah. It's all happening. Chili's half naked. <laughs> mm. Bearings are out. It's coming. Yep. So, I've got a big job to do again. I'm greasing the bearing. Look. So, we put the grease in the little bag, and this is like, just got, we just like squeeze it in. Too easy mm -hmm. and we need to stop our work for now because i've got a very important uh, -huh. uh appointment very important very important <laughs> and my hair needs to get done so i'll be back and we're back yep. with new hair <laughs> are we ready to finish our job yes oh. very nice yeah i just put the uh the bottom recent place uh -huh. that which uh uh you make a, a spacer and make sure that you're just uh Pushing on the inter, inner spacer, you cannot touch the the bearings. The bearings yes. And then just go ahead, and you can just uh, tap, tap it right in place. And it's in. Yeah. Okay. It's in. Too easy. Yeah. I don't remember which side that's on, but we'll figure it out. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Have you got it? Yep. Okay. Hang on to it there. Okay. I can do that. All right. You actually want to uh, put about 10 pounds, eight to 10 pounds torque on it. Mm -hmm. And that basically puts all the pieces in where it needs to be, seat them in. And then once you do, what I do is mark it. 
so we know exactly what we're where we're going and what we're doing. Oh, 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 no, we're in. Yep. Yep, you're in. All right, time for uh, a little air filter. Yes. Maintenance. That's right. We're getting into it now. Because she follows the book absolutely to the T. Absolutely not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> it's very filthy. But shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, so this is my pre-filter. I use Google Attack. So I'll just blow it. It's very, very clean now. Very clean. And we're going to oil it with this thing. So this is our way of oiling the filter. I got like a little spongy thing. And I think that's it. Hey, oh, what do you reckon? Should we just yeah. leave it on the on the sun for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, it'll soak down. Okay, so the chili's front tire is on, everything is on, and now we're gonna do the rear tire, which is really our main task today. That's a good. That's a good chain. I know, it's new. No, but I mean, it's a good... Uh, it's deed. A good name. Yes. There you go. Good. Little by little is all you need. That's the maximum <laughs> amount you need, need to uh, get out. Changing the tire is super easy if you uh, know a couple tricks. Yes. And you do little by little. Yeah. There we go. Nice, mate. Now the red hammer. The red hammer. And she's out. Look at this beautiful slime. <laughs> <laughs> so... This is why I had issues for so many weeks with that rim. So I had this rim sealed in South Africa with a sealant, as you can see. But the problem was for a while that I had this valve, angled valve put in, and this valve was uh, was moving. So at the start, these two spokes, spokes yeah. were leaking. So I put slime in there, so I can, I was in Big Bend National Park, I couldn't do anything about it. So. Then I put the slime, as you can see, slime is all over the tire now. But now the slime, pretty I don't know if it's the slime or it's just the failure of the silicon, but pretty much the silicon is like, it's gone. That comes it's gone. gone. It's junk. So that means we're going back to tube now. <laughs> Ugh. Get the chain on? Yep, chain's on. Okay. Okay, let's get close enough for now. I'm going for a test right now. See, she's running. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. What? Right, and now our last job uh, for today will be putting my new quad lock because you know what happened. I have new mirrors, uh huh, ram mirrors now that they fall down and all. Uh, so uh, before I had my quad lock mount on the mirrors, now I can't have it on the mirrors. So quad lock sent me a new one, motorcycle handle mount, uh huh, and that came with the stamper, uh huh, and then waterproof wireless charger. That's on. And now this is gonna go on that, and that's it. And we're done. Too easy. It's not going anywhere. Okay, and now we tighten this one. And that's it, we're good to charge. 
And now we're back to the house yeah. for, for, for little lunch. What are we having for lunch, guys? We are having <laughs> tacos al Jesse. Right. <laughs> Homemade tortillas, homemade salsa, nice. Homemade margaritas. Thank you. <laughs> you don't mention the margaritas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I wanted to ask you, how many times you've been around the world? No, just once, just through fifty countries. I bought this bike in '85, uh, but uh, <clears throat> I started traveling um, uh, when I was 18. I went to uh, Japan for Kawasaki. <clears throat> and then that's where I really learned that, you know, hey, it's there's a lot of stuff to see out there, you know. Yeah. So. And you spent ma many years in Africa, right? You were returning to Africa a few times, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You solo or yeah. together a two up, yep. or are you were chasing Dakar back in the days when he was still yeah. Paris Dakar? Right? <clears throat> yeah, we did the uh, Dakar route, which is <clears throat> the racers do it in 22 days, and uh -huh. uh, we did it in uh, three and a half months. Right. So now you're retired, but before you retired, you were uh, an owner of a business. And what was your yeah. business? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, before I started traveling, I was a motorcycle mechanic for 20 years. Uh -huh. And then I <clears throat> started a, a company called Jesse Luggage. Right. And I had um, uh, basically designed it and such when I went through the Sahara. Uh -huh. And I used um, those drawings and such uh, to, uh, you know, get this first prototype done. And when I, after uh, uh, Dakar, I came back to New York, and then um, I had a job in New Zealand, so I went down there and actually uh, made the first mock-up uh -huh. uh, ones down there yeah. um, for, for three months, and then I came back and, and started. Production. Mm -hmm. So uh, you had just like luggage for how many years? Uh, I had it for about 22 years. 22 years. Uh, so this bike is the bike that you took yeah. uh, to Africa yeah. and you were riding dunes on ro two up on yeah. road tires. Yeah. Uh, pretty in incredible. I've seen all the pictures. It's just insane that uh, you were capable of doing that, all of that, two up. Yeah. Day by day. Yes, I know. <laughs> so you bought that bike new yeah. and you still have it. So yeah. what is it? Bought it new in uh, in 85. It's a, it, I bought it in Grimsby. Mm -hmm. uh, BMW store in uh, uh, north of London. In New York, okay, yeah. Yeah. So how many how many miles he's got on it now? One hundred eighty thousand. Wow. Okay. Look at that. I did a lot of modification to it. I put the uh, two uh, double disc on the front. Oh wow. Um, and then I also uh, it doesn't have a second shock on now, but I have a <clears throat> I have a shock that goes here as well uh -huh. so i run two shocks on this side so oh wow so, so that is, you improved the suspension yeah right oh <laughs> thank you guys yeah yeah so no worries thank no you worries so much for Safe everything safe travels you're my lifesaver oh no 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 thank you know you're you. welcome anytime you come through so oh, hopefully i'll see you again i hope so too. Oh, somewhere somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. In this world. that's right <laughs> yeah who knows if you see a big brown bus honking at you that's us <laughs> Head south on North 70th Drive toward West Korean Drive, then turn oh. right to West Korean Drive. So just go out this way right there. This way? Yep. yep. Bye! See you, <laughs> travels. Thank you. Oh, she sounds so nice! <laughs> Bye! I know! Something's yeah. wrong! <laughs> Bye! I'm not, I'm not good at reading instructions, so I'm just going to work it out. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. This is the damper, so that will go here. <gasps> no. That goes there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instructions, hey? I hate reading manuals. <laughs> What's YouTube for? <laughs>